All right, guys, this is my week one update. So I just finished my first full week of working for myself, and this is a summary of what happened this week. Okay, so my goal of replacing my income, I didn't, I didn't replace that this week. But I wasn't thinking I was going to be able to right away. I was, um, I was thinking I would need three to six months to replace that. So I think we're ahead of track on that, actually. So that's a win. Uh, another win had six new reviews, Google reviews. So I think I'm up to 20 now. So that's good. That's a big step forward. Uh, so we're moving the right direction in that way. Man, I had some big setbacks this week. Oh my goodness. So I found out through mostly my fault for not paying attention but my previous employer the entire year of 2023 was not taking out any federal withholdings and so and I didn't pay attention I guess they switched um, the way that they do things and how I had my exemptions listed all of my withholdings got canceled and I didn't even realize it so I found out this week I owe over $1,000 to the IRS for my taxes for last year. Oh, man. So that was a huge blow. Um, but eventually got used to it. The idea of, okay, I owe this money. Well, well you know, we're going to, I owe it. Um, it's not like I don't know. I got to pay the tax, man. doesn't matter what happened. I still got to pay my taxes, right? Uh, there's no bereavement fund if you accidentally didn't pay your taxes throughout the year. Plus, I got to pay a penalty because I didn't pay throughout the year. So, okay, on the bright side, this has made me much more aware of what I need to do. I need to be much more vigilant, especially owning my own business of, of taxes. And I, I also learned that I have to pay my taxes quarterly to keep up with that. So I don't get penalized. So I also just got in contact uh, with an accountant so that I can have some help with this. I also bought QuickBooks. So I've had, I took almost a whole day to learn that and to sync the bank account with that and and learning that whole thing was a huge learning curve so one of the themes of this week is like there are so many things that i have to learn that are you know even though i'm in the same business that i've been in for 18 years there are so many of these little skills that i am brand new at so i'm almost you know feeling like a a new guy a rookie because I'm just learning all these little skills that I need to survive to, to do my own business. Okay, another big setback. I don't wanna get into the details of it, but when I was repairing a vehicle, I damaged part of the sunroof on a, on a pretty new BMW. And my immediate thought was, this is gonna cost me thousands of dollars to fix this mistake. So thankfully, uh, one of my good friends is, I think he is the top interior technician in Jacksonville. So he was my first call. He kind of walked me through what his solution might be. Man, I got help from him to kind of like, just get my head about the situation. And then I had another Another friend, another dent guy in town really bailed me out of this and figured out that this was a part that could be replaced. So he helped me disassemble this entire, take the headliner down, take the sunroof assembly down, take this part out, replaced it. This other guy really bailed me out of that, but I learned a lot from it 
from my friend, the interior technician, helped us figure out how to drop this headliner of this BMW. You'd think after 18 years, I'd know how to drop every headliner, but no, this one, the center console, kind of like in the this type of thing, there was one piece of trim that had to be taken off just a certain way to reveal a screw that had to be, so my interior tech friend actually dropped that for us. So, so many people helping bail me out of my mistake. Uh, but of course, you know, we, we fixed it right. The customer's car was made whole. I thought it was gonna end up costing me thousands and thousands of dollars and because of the help of my friends it ended up only costing a couple hundred dollars for the part and then the time it took me and the time it took my friends so man that was a big learning curve but hopefully now I have a little bit better idea on at least that one headliner uh, how to disassemble it advertising I'm realizing that's a whole nother skill that I have to get good at I, I do have leads coming in. I do have, I'm scheduling jobs, but that's a whole nother skill um, that I have to dial in um, on on my advertising. I need to diversify my advertising. It's very, I'm doing quite a bit right now on, you know, in one thing that's creating leads, but I need to diversify that. And I just need to have the time to do that. That's a whole nother thing I need to get good at. Okay, so another thing is having a cancellation. I had one one job that I thought was gonna give me a full day of billing. All of my, I thought my whole day was gonna come from that guy and he canceled on me that day. So that was a setback. I need to, I need to figure out how to deal with that. Another thing, just the daily unknown. Like right now, it's Friday, I'm done. I'm finished Friday, so my whole next week, I have three days booked out next week with work, but you know, is someone gonna cancel on me? I don't know, and then, you know, I'm still trying to fill the rest of that week that I don't, you know, it's kind of crazy getting used to the idea of, I don't have a full week of work ahead of me yet, I just have a couple days, but then, you know, hopefully leads are gonna come in and uh, you know, I'll get to schedule that work. My forerunner is getting wrapped. I'm in the Highlander right now. Un, uh, not an ideal setup with my tools. It's a mess back there. Kind of embarrassing actually pulling up to a job with the, the, the way that my tools are back there. But my forerunner, the wrap should be get finished today. So I should have the forerunner going next week. But then I have to build out my entire tool area of the back of that thing to to be nice and functional and presentable back there um so that's coming man i'm you know i'm th there's been some really high highs and really low lows um after damaging that sunroof on that bmw i thought maybe i would just quit and go get a job up at the circle k um and just stop this whole thing I really didn't think that, but that was kind of how I felt, um, man. So really just getting used to the idea of there are gonna be constant setbacks. I know every business deals with this, that you're gonna have jobs that you lose money on. But in the long run, if you keep going, you keep you know making people happy, it's gonna pay off. So that's just something something new to get used to and really man i am just so thankful to god i'm so thankful to god for providing for my family i'm so thankful for my friends that helped me um, get through this uh so that's week one fell a little bit short had some big l's and like that kind of stuff doesn't happen that often damaging stuff that rarely happens but of course it happened this first week but it's just like God, I feel like it's just God showing me like, hey, this is not going to be easy. You need to get used to this and just persevere and, and push through. So I'm just very thankful to God, thankful for my friends, thankful for the support of my wife and my friends. Um, man, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. This was a pretty long video, but man, I appreciate y'all. Hopefully this helps somebody. I know some of y'all had a rough week hopefully watching this, seeing me have some big failures that are just my fault, 
the tax thing is my fault. The damage was my fault, but you know, sometimes those things are going to happen and we just got to keep moving forward, make it right. And then move on to the next job, do a good job. Hopefully, you know, we're trusting just in the long run, it's going to work out. Hopefully that helps y'all. Thanks for coming along this ride with me. I wasn't very good about filming this week just because I was just in the weeds mentally with, you know, all this new stuff. So, oh yeah, one other thing I got, I got shirts. So that's, I know it's flip, but I'll show you the shirts I got. I got shirts and hoodies. So, um, I'm going to put, I'm going to sell them. I figure I have all these uh, followers. I think I'm up to over a hundred thousand total followers with all the platforms. So I'll have these things up for sale shortly. You can wear the shirts, the hoodies that I'm wearing. Here's a hoodie right here. This is what the back looks like. Both the shirt and the hoodies are pretty much the same. Here's the front of the hoodie. Boom. Dent repair jacks. Here's what the back looks like. Boom. I got super soft material. So these, you know, they're not gonna be the cheapest shirts and hoodies, but I just wanted to get something that I enjoy wearing. So these things are super thin. I think it's like a cotton, polyester, rayon mix, super thin and comfortable. And the hoodie is also just super soft and comfy. So. Y'all want one of those. Those will be available shortly. All right. Appreciate y'all. See you soon.